Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make these four wonderful Eid last minute DIYs. Let's begin. So our first DIY will be a table decor. For this we will be needing a printout of 6.5 inches in length and then we have to cut it out. Now I have cut it and then I have applied golden glitter on it. I have cut it using a cutter. Next I will take a cardboard, a circular cardboard with a diameter of 6.5 inches and I have covered it with black cover since our theme is black and gold. And now I will be gluing it. Next I will be applying glitter on the goat. Now with butter paper, I am trying to level the glitters. Okay, now it's perfect. Next, I will be adding glitters on Eid al Aza. You can choose any color you like. Then let it dry. Now till it dries, I will be making the base for it. For that we will be needing cardboard pieces of breast 2.5 inch and length 5 inches. And then we will be sticking them together. The number of these pieces you can decide on how high you want it to be. And now that it's complete, I will be covering it with this black cover. After that. I will cut a hole in the middle now it's complete so I will be putting the glue in and I will be sticking inside And there you go, it's complete. Next I'm gonna make a bigger version of it which is gonna be a wall decor. For that I have took a bigger print and I'm gonna cut it off using this cutter. I'll come back after I have cut it. Now it's completed, I have cut it and painted it gold. You may think where the sheep is but we have sent it for grazing and becoming big. As you can see I've cut out even the little details in it. Now I'm gonna cover the cardboard base of it which is in oval shape since the moon is an oval. The longer side is 30 inches and the short side is 25 inches. So I'm gonna cover it with this black cover. Okay now it's done. And now I will be deciding in what position to stick the moon. Okay, this is perfect and I will be sticking it and it's done. I have glued the moon. Now I brought back the sheep from the grazing land. It got really big now. I will be gluing it on. You can see that I've also covered the goat in glitter which makes it look more attractive. Next I'll be making a tussel of it using a golden thread and putting some pearls on it this way some pearls I'll be sticking it at the back side of the base it's gonna look like this now I've done it I have glued it from behind and also, I have made the hanging part of it 
Now you can see both of them are done. They're really beautiful and amazing. You can hang this at your walls in your rooms and this will look amazing. And I've also put some LED lights on it, which will make it look really attractive even in the dark. Okay, lights out. So you can see, it's really amazing. When things turn out so wonderful, I feel really happy that I got to make them. Okay, so lights on. This will really put a special place on your walls. Now it's time for the next one. Now we have two DIYs remaining, the sheep chocolate tray and the sheep garland. Let's start with the chocolate tray. First, I took a small box and I have cut out the lead and I have put masking tape around it. This keeps the edges soft and smooth. Now they're completely covered. I'm going to use the lid of the box as the base and this will keep the base intact and as one unit next i took a green foam and i have drew grass on it then i have cut out the grass shape i have also cut a strip of brown foam and now i'm gonna stick it this way to look like there is grass above the sand. Now this is complete. I have completely sticked it around the box and this is how it turned out. It looks really good. Now it's time for the inside of it. I am using this green paper. You can use any paper you like. But I think this light green fits a lot on the box. So I'm like this. I'm gonna stick it inside. And this is how the inside of the box should be covered. Next, I'm going to stick the sheep. We have already showed you how to make this sheep in our previous video of, of Eid al-Azha cards. The link for that will be at the top right corner. So now I'm going to be sticking the sheep. Now for raising the tray and giving a support, I'm gonna add these at stands. These are made from the leads of our standard 330ml bottle and I've covered them with green paper. I'm gonna stick them like this in each corner. Now it's perfectly complete. It's done. I have added some chocolates in this and you can keep it like this. When someone comes to your house or you could even gift it to anyone. Oh, blue eyes. She came again. She wants attention. Okay, next I will be making a sheep garland. For this DIY, I am going to make some cute and fluffy sheeps. How to make this is you have to take a roll of wool and... You must wrap it around your arm. It should be a lot and it should be of uh, it should be of your desired size. And I'm just going to remove this out. Then after this I am going to tie one in the center of it like this, like a knot, like normally how you tie a shoelace just like that. I'm gonna put a double knot in between. Now this bulges at the side. I'm just gonna use the scissors to cut it. Just giving it a good round shape. It's done. 
so next I will be drawing the head of the sheep on a white foam and I'll cut it out it's gonna be like this in the center I'm gonna add some wool at the top as you know the head the wool part of the head and I'm gonna stick the head like this in the center of this wool I have also cut out two legs okay I'm just gonna let them dry okay now they're done and I have made four of these and I'll be attaching these sheeps to these LED lights I'm gonna hang them in between of each LED light like this and they will look really nice and amazing on your wall when you hang them these are really easy and like you can make this with a last minute DIY it's complete it's it's really amazing. I hope you like it.